okay, I don't know if I will ever have the guts to post this. It's a pretty touchy subject and I found no videos whatsoever on YouTube about it. And because of which, I'm doing this video. But, like I said, if I post it, please be nice, because this is pretty, pretty fucking embarrassing. We'll just put it out there like this. Um, if you've never heard of Demodex, those would be the little bastards that live on your eyelashes. Well, they don't live on your eyelashes. They actually live in the hair follicle, feeding off the sebum and dead skin. They come in two forms. Uh, Demodex brevis, which lives on the face, nose, uh, forehead, supposedly. Uh, although, they do live in the scalp. And um, pretty much anywhere else in the body that has good enough conditions. Um, I had never realized that these parasites, because that's what they are, they serve no function to the infected person, um, can become overrun. And at that point, it's considered an infestation. Um, I suffered with acne throughout my teenage years. Um, I smoked as a teenager, um, and I was always told that probably contributed in some part to my skin. I didn't drink enough water, I ate greasy foods, blah blah blah. I washed my face with everything I possibly could, I tried everything. I just got to the point where I thought it was my lot in life. Um, fast forward shit ton of time. I'm 32. Um, I just had my first child six months ago. He's so cute. He's not here right now. Grandma's got him for the day. But, um, yeah. And my skin, I just started having these horrible problems with it. Um, I seen a video online that said Vicks, an amazing treatment for any kind of breakout, cystic acne, anything like that. So I thought, we'll try it. I did. I reacted very oddly to it. Um, I broke out in, like, blisters, almost. Um, that were sore and they were huge and then I did some research into the ingredients in VIX which one is formaldehyde have fun rubbing that on your face um, stay young forever quite literally um, but no um, camper I came across camper which uh, the camper that they use in VIX is actually synthetic um, it used to be real camper from the sassafras tree? I don't the root beer tree. Uh, they end up uh, getting it from a different source now. Long story short, it's one of the treatments for Demodex mites. They're mites. They have eight legs. They're actually in the arachnida family. Spiders. Yeah, spiders on your eyelashes. Um, and camphor. I don't know exactly how it kills and or upsets them, but I know it does. Um, and the reaction that I was having was parallel to reactions people with Demodex were having from similar treatments. Um, the homeopathic, if you will, treatments are tea tree oil, that would be the number one. Um, diluted, obviously, because you put that right on your face and you could wind up with big problems. Um, and as I already said, camper. Um, the problem with that is it kills off the mites, which is what you want. But when they die, they decay in the follicle, which I did, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. I mentioned the Demodex brevis. There's also Demodex, or Demodex folliculum, I believe that's how it's said. I'm not positive, don't quote me. Uh, not a medical student. Um, they live right here right here, and in the melo, I don't know, melobanin, melobonin gland, I don't know, all these little dots and holes right here. Um, and they have, I think it's a 15-day life cycle is about the average that I've gotten from my reading. Um, however, they lay eggs in the follicle, and as a result, it takes about six to eight weeks to kill off all the reoccurring um, hatching cycles of these mites. Um, so once you start treating, you have to treat constantly, and you can't take a break, and you can't miss a day. That's why I look like shit. Pardon my French. You also can't wear makeup. Um, my hair looks not cute. It is uh, 
it has a tea tree infusion on it right now. Um, I am a makeup junkie, all of which I had to throw away. Um, a lot of dermatologists don't even recognize this as a skin condition. Um, ophthalmologists will treat it if you have blepharitis, which is usually uh, diagnosed by recognizing CD or cylindrical dandruff around the eyelash. Um, if you haven't guessed it, I, I came to the conclusion that's my problem. Um, that's probably been my problem for the majority of my life. Um, because when I quit smoking and when I had my son, uh, it got worse both times. Demodex mites are opposed to cigarette smoke because of the toxin, so they don't uh, breed as well, as well as um, they thrive in hormonal fluxes, thus why people break out usually in uh, their teenage years, and then it calms down. Um, you can get a huge resurgence of these parasites if you have a compromised immune system, which I became sick with pneumonia, and uh, after that, my face looked like it was hit by a truck. Um, I am on day eight of treating in a six to eight week cycle, so all I can say is my face hurts, and not from what I'm putting on it, it's from the, oh, these terms, the die off, if you will. Um, my eyebrow here is swollen, I don't even know if you can tell, swollen well past what it normally would be. Kind of looked like I was in a boxing match. My skin, this is so embarrassing, because I would normally have so much makeup on to cover all this. It's horrible. As you can tell, here, 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 in the hair, my, my hair was getting really listless and limp, and I don't want to say falling out, really, but some people get to that uh, extreme. Um, but it just wasn't doing what it should, so... I am now treating at home, and like I said, I think I'm on six, eight days, something like that. I have huge sections of my eyebrow missing, as you can tell. There's no eyebrow here from um, the initial die-off, and I've always had problems with my eyebrows growing because Demodex folliculum lives mainly in the eyebrows, oh, that hurts, and the eyelashes. Um, these mites are nearly naked. Ugh. Not nearly naked. Whoa, where's your mind, Mandy? Um, nearly invisible to the naked eye. And um, the nits, or the babies, are completely invisible. Um, to see them, you would have to have, like, a cosmetic mirror. Um, I think mine is 15 times magnified. Um, if I go up close after I treat with tea tree, um, I can actually see them sitting on the lash. And they look very uh, luminescent, if you will. They're almost clear, but they, they have like a white pearlish glow to them. And they're very small, uh, about the size of a grain of sand, maybe a little bit larger. Um, it's absolutely disgusting. When I realized that's what this was, I had anxiety so bad. My poor husband. Um, I didn't want to touch myself. I didn't want to touch anybody else. But folks, everybody's got them. Everybody in the world has them. It's just, do you have them to a point where they affect your entire skin homeostasis? And I did, and I do. And I'm trying to fix it. So I thought it was, oh, God, I look horrible. I hope I don't post this, but I probably should because it's a public service, if you will. Um, yeah, so take this journey with me. Ride along with me. Um, very few people in my family know because I find it so embarrassing. I have not left the house. I have gone absolutely nowhere. I have done nothing. And I probably won't until I can wear makeup again because, let's face it, we're all vain little creatures. It's just, who's honest about it? Okay, if you have any questions that I can answer, I will try. Um, if you're grossed out and you think I'm disgusting, great. Please keep it to yourself. It doesn't help me. It doesn't help you. It just makes you an uglier person. And at the end of the day, all I'm trying to do is help other people because the resources were not there in one comprehensive area for me to educate myself. And hopefully with this, that's what I'm starting. All right. Mandy out.